Ah yes, it's time for another album ranking. Today we are ranking none other than the spookiest band in the world, Hooded Menace. That's right, Hooded Menace were formed in 2007 and they have created six studio albums. Now I thought it would be best to give you a Hooded Menace album ranking while they are hot on the press with their brand new album, The Tritonous Bell. It's a very good album, The Tritonous Bell, although in their discography, is it one of their best? Well, you have to find out. Now today I'm going to give you an album ranking and I'm going to rank you from my least favorite Hooded Menace albums to my favorite. It's a very hard list. One of the hardest rankings I ever Ever had to do on the channel because there is not one bad Hooded Menace album. Surely there are different sounding Hooded Menace albums. They are a very consistent band, one of the most consistent Death Doom bands out there. First up is, this pains me to put this in, Fulfill the Curse. This album is really good. This was their debut LP which was released on October 1st, 2008 through Razorback Recordings. This is an overall very gloomy and doomy sort of album with some great songs like Fulfill the Curse, Grass, The Beast, of Woman, that fucking guitar riff on that song, not to mention the drumming. This is more of a death metal album along with at times a doom metal element. But yeah, there are very slow moments, slow dirgy moments, but I just feel Hooded Menace have done a little bit better. These songs like The Love Song of Gotho, Hunchback of the Morgue, the Arcane Epitaph are just really fantastic songs overall and overall, that album cover is so damn good. It's spooky, it's gloomy. You all know you're gonna have a very fun time listening to this LP. Some really great guitar work on this. A lot of harsh and aggressive guttural vocals, which does escalate the album into the next level. And yeah, it's one of my favorite albums by Hood and Menace, although it is sitting last. This tells you that Hood and Menace have a close to a flawless discography. Next up is Detritus Bell. The Tritonus Bell is their latest album and I just feel that it is their second weakest album. This is a very different sounding Hooded Menace you could say. Hooded Menace have experimented throughout the years such as albums like Darkness Drip Forth and Tritonus Bell which was released on August 27th 2021 through Season of Miss is overall heavy metal death doom album. There are some strong elements of heavy metal on this, some really awesome vocals as well, and the guitar melodies are infectious in tone. This at time reminds me of a Sarium Silhouette Unhollowed, although I just feel the Triton Spell is slightly weaker than that album. Great melodies, great catchy moments as well, like Skirted in the Dark, dun, dun, dun. that riff is fantastic. Corpus Asunder has a really infectious guitar rhythm, and the drumming is fantastic. Vocals are intense as anything. I love the instrument's Samba Finale, which is a great way to end off the album. They're very interesting concepts to the end of the album's Hooded Menace, such as they have covers, such as Never Cross the Dead had the theme of the return of the Evil Dead, which I fucking love, one of my favorite covers by Hooded Menace. This album, The Triton Spell, is a fantastic LP, and it's one of my favorites of the year. Although I just feel that, yeah, this is their second weakest album. Time Diabolicus has such a awesome guitar melody that I really love. But yeah, Triton Spell is a fantastic Death Doom album, but I love how they incorporate more heavy metal elements on it. Next up is Controversial, and Questy will fucking hit me for this, but I know this is probably his favorite album as well. It's Never Cross the Dead. Never Cross the Dead is an incredible album by our Hooded Menace, and this is when Hooded Menace really encapsulate their sound. It just feels like you're trapped in a cave and you can't get out, and you're looking upon in the distance and you're seeing skeletons just dancing around. It's songs like Terra Castle, along with Night of the Death Cult, Rituals of Mortal Cremation, As the Creatures Ascend, that guitar riff on that, and From Their Coffin to Slumber, with theme from the return of the dead. Oh my god, the guitar melody on that are fantastic. This is one of the catchiest Hooded Menace albums. I absolutely love it. I just love how this album just drips, drips with slime and it's so damn slow and doomy at times. Although they don't shy away from the those death metal elements to like Fulfill the Curse, which is more of a, a death metal style album. But yeah, Never Cross the Dead is such an awesome LP overall. Terror Castle being one of my favorite songs. Love how catchy it is. This is a fucking masterpiece by Hooded Menace, but I just feel that there are other better albums than Never Cross the Dead. But yeah, a lot of people would have this at number one, but in my opinion, it sits here. Next up is Effigies of Evil. 
Love this album, I really do. One of my favorite albums by Hood and Menace just because of the vocal melodies, the catchiness of some of these songs, like Effigies of Evil, Vortex Macabre, the little inserts as well throughout the album. I love the inserts telling a huge, massive story, but also providing a bit of comedic value on it. Great songs like Crumbling Insanity, Summon Into Euphoric Madness, about dead people, about zombies rising, and about about werewolves. Yes, it's got werewolves on this album. Holy shit, I love the lyrics. The lyrics are fantastic in Hooded Menace. They just talk about horrific stuff, like zombies, the dead rising, and Effigies of Evil is such an awesome album. Just to slow, just to down tuning guitar moments, the drumming, the vocals. Fantastic fucking album by Hooded Menace. Next up was my favorite album for a very long time by Hooded Menace. It's Darkness Drips Forth. This is an incredibly slow album, very slow tempo. Some would say it's even Funeral Doom. This is a Funeral Doom album by Hooded Menace and it's so damn good. The melodies, just the atmosphere. This is just drenched with slime and grime. Yeah, the vocals are incredibly guttural. Songs like Blood for the Burning Oath, Dungeons of the Disembodied, Elysium of Dripping Death, Ashen with Solemn Decay, Beyond Deserted Flesh. Each song averages around 10 minutes. Some songs are over 10 minutes. Ashen with Solemn Decay is just below 10 minutes. This was released on October 30th, 2015 through Relapse Records. And I'll tell you what, this is an absolutely incredible album. Just a really intense slow moment throughout Elysium of Dripping Death. The melodies are so damn infectious in tone, which I absolutely love. And it just, again, you just feel like you're trapped in a box and it's just claustrophobic. Just the album cover with the hooded skeletons and holy shit, you know you're in for a very good, slow, doomy time. Great fucking album by Hooded Menace. One of my favorites. The next album, in my opinion, and it's my favorite Hooded Menace album, it's none other than Serum Silhouettes Unhallowed. Well, this is an incredible LP. This was released on January 26, 2018 through Season of Mist. And I'll tell you what, what an incredible ride this is. It's more melodic, this album. It's as melodic as the Tritonist Bell, you could say, but the vocals are so damn intense. Sounds like a fucking monster. The art cover is amazing as well, with the three hooded figures standing beyond a waterfall. So damn good. It tells a huge damn story. It feels like you're just trapped in a cave, and it feels like skeletons are dancing all over you, all over your body as you are, as you're a corpse listening to this album. This is so damn good. Songs like In Eerie Deliverance, Set Paternal, Grotesqueries, the fucking 10 minute song that start off the album. Chanel Reflections, hello, that guitar moment in Chanel Reflections, no, 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 so damn good. Um, then you got the instrumental Black Moss, Cathedral of Labyrinth, Darkness, Cascade of Ashes, oh, dun, 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 that riff on that. Uh, yeah, like I said, this is my favorite Hooded Menace album. Absolutely love it. Um, it's one of my favorite albums of all time. Just the production on this. Production's the best production. So damn atmospheric, so damn grimy, slimy. It just feels like death is about to strike you as you are listening to this LP. He's got his scythe ready and he's ready to strike you and behead you or something like that. This is incredible. Incredible death doom album. Just the amount of energy energy that is provided throughout this chaotic moments as well. Asylum Silhouettes Unhallow is my number one Hooded Menace album of all fucking time. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you thought about this album ranking. Do you agree or disagree with my opinion? Keep discussion going in the comment section below and I will see you in the next one.